Right in the middle of your living room, the air ripples, and a single black dot appears. It's only one centimeter across, smaller than a coin, yet it holds the mass of the entire Earth. At first, nothing seems to happen. Then, a thousandth of a second later, the air tears inward. The furniture, the floor, the walls, everything rushes toward the center as space itself visibly bends. Objects nearby stretch thinner and thinner until they tear. Scientists call this spaghettification, a phenomenon where the difference in gravitational pull between your head and your feet is so great it pulls your body into a thin strand. After one second, your house is gone. What's left is a cloud of glowing plasma, tens of thousands of degrees hot. That swirling ring, an accretion disk, hurls out x-rays and gamma rays as matter tears itself apart. For a brief moment, your living room burns brighter than a small star. The black hole punches through the floor and plunges toward Earth's core. But really, it's Earth collapsing toward it. The ground folds inward, earthquakes ripple outward, and molten rock and shock waves rip through the crust. A few minutes later, the crust caves in and the core begins to boil. Temperatures soar past 100,000 degrees. The whole planet glows red like molten glass. Oceans vaporize. The atmosphere peels away. After an hour, half of Earth has already vanished into the black hole, and the rest is spiraling inward, losing what's left of its orbit and sinking into that tiny, unstoppable point. Now, only one thing remains, a one-centimeter black hole with Earth's mass, heavier than our planet ever was, and completely silent. Here's the question everyone asks, wouldn't the black hole evaporate? That's Hawking radiation. A black hole isn't truly inert. Right outside the event horizon, quantum fluctuations create pairs of particles, sometimes one escapes. When that happens, the black hole loses a bit of energy and a bit of mass. Over inconceivable time, it slowly evaporates. But this one is far too massive. An Earth mass black hole would take about 10 to the 67th power years to evaporate. For all practical purposes, it's eternal. It won't explode, it won't fade, it just sits there forever. So what about the sun? Earth is gone, but the new black hole weighs almost the same. From the sun's distance, the overall pull is essentially unchanged, so the orbit of this Earth point stays basically the same. The sun isn't pulled in, it just keeps shining as if Earth were still there. Only now, Earth is nothing but a silent point of gravity. And the moon? Its orbit gets violently disturbed by the chaos near Earth's whole position. No longer in a stable path, the moon either drifts away or falls toward the sun. Thousands to millions of years pass. The solar system begins to wobble, orbits shift bit by bit, and the architecture of our neighborhood slowly rewrites itself. Millions of years later, where Earth once circled, there's no light, no sound, just a tiny black dot holding everything we ever were. Your house, the oceans, every living thing, compressed into that point. It's no longer Earth, it's a silent, infinite weight. And in the place where we once existed, only gravity remains.